If you get into a certain rhythm which is compulsive within you, you will be just a repetition of the past. If you want to break your emotional rhythms, these are simplest tools, maybe drastic, but if you don't want to waste time in your life, that's the way to go. When it comes to the innermost core, it is uh, all one. When it comes to the body, when it comes to the mind, when it comes to your emotions and the world around you and your activity, The whole significance of life, the beauty of life and the efficacy of life is in just finding the right rhythm. What is your rhythm? If you listen to the outermost surface of who you are, there will be one kind of rhythm. If you delve a little deeper, there will be another kind of rhythm. There is a very surface uh, rhythm which will find expression in very fundamental needs and compulsions of who you are. If you watch yourself a little more closely, you will see there is a psychological rhythm which need not necessarily match with the needs and compulsions which drive you on a daily basis. If you watch with a little more sensitivity, you would notice an emotional rhythm which is of a completely different nature than your psychological rhythm. If you much watch much more keenly, you may no notice a certain chemical rhythm which could be more connected to our emotional cycles than anything else. If you watch with much more awareness, you may notice a certain energy rhythm which will not have anything to do with any of these things, but it causes everything else. But if you look deep enough, there is no rhythm, it's utter stillness. There is nothing to do about one stillness, just to take a dip is all you can do. But all the other realms need to be worked at your energies, your chemistry, your emotion, your thought, your body, your desire and the karmic rhythms, these things need to be worked at, otherwise you will be just a repetition of the past. If you get into a certain rhythm which is compulsive within you, you will be just a repetition of the past over and over again, nothing new will ever touch you. So to find the rhythm and consciously to change the rhythm, to make the rhythm more profound, more complex or more simple, above all, to be able to consciously change the rhythm, not to be like a broken record that you go on singing the same rhythm all the time, all the time, all the time. At the age of sixty, somebody comes to me yesterday and says, my husband is not paying enough attention to me. I said, you must be glad <laughs> you, you had these prayer problems when you were eighteen. Not good but understandable. At sixty, you still have the same problem. At sixty, if you are still a teenager, oh, nobody is going to 
tolerate you. Yes? Nobody's going to tolerate a sixty-year-old behaving like a teenager, isn't it? <laughs> so, if you do not learn to consciously change the rhythm of body, mind, emotion, chemistry and energy, you will become like a broken record. Simply repeating the same things over and over again. The easiest way or the simplest way to break the rhythms which are compulsive within you is to start doing things that you don't like. You would like to start the morning with a chocolate, but here you start with a neem ball. <laughs> Just what you don't like. If you want to break your emotional rhythms, the simplest thing is to look for somebody that you cannot stand and to work with them. Choose them as your partner to work with. Somebody you just can't stand. These are simplest tools, maybe drastic, but if you don't want to waste time in your life, that's the way to go, to just get up in the morning and do what you don't like. And after some time you will see your likes and dislikes are essentially your making. They are not some God-given laws as to what you should like and what you should dislike. It's got nothing to do with the object of your like or, or the object of your dislike. It is just your compulsiveness which draws you to certain things and repels you from certain other things.